Today let us consider scalar product of vectors. Consider two vectors, vector A and vector B and theta is the angle between vector A and vector B. Where 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to pi. If we consider the scalar product of vector A and vector B denoted by vector A dot vector B is equal to mod of vector A into mod of vector B into cos theta. This is called scalar product because the answer which you are getting is a scalar. We also know that vector A dot vector B is equal to vector B dot vector A. That means scalar product is commutative. Suppose vector A dot vector B equal to 0. This means vector A is perpendicular to vector B. If we consider dot product between the same vector that is vector A dot vector A that is equal to mod of vector A square. Similarly, I dot I is equal to mod I square equal to 1. Similarly, J dot J equal to 1 and K dot K also equal to 1 where I, J and K are the unit vectors along x, y and z axis. Suppose if we consider a dot b equal to minus of mod of vector a mod of vector b then angle between vector a and vector b is phi. If we consider the projection of vectors suppose projection of Vector A on vector B is equal to A dot B divided by mod of vector B. Similarly, projection of vector B on vector A is equal to A dot B divided by mod of vector A. Now let us consider problems on scalar product of vectors. Consider the first question. Find the angle between two vectors, vector A and vector B, with magnitudes 1 and 2. And vector A dot B equal to 1. We know that cos theta equal to A dot B divided by mod of vector A into mod of vector b. Now we know the values of a dot b which is given equal to 1. Also magnitudes of vector a is given equal to 1 and magnitude of vector b also given equal to 2. If we substitute these values in the function we will get cos theta equal to a dot b that is 1 divided by mod of vector A that is 1 into mod of vector B that is 2. So we will get cos theta equal to half. That means theta equal to cos inverse of 1 by 2 cos 60 is half. Therefore theta is equal to pi by 3. Let us consider the second question. Find the angle between vectors vector A equal to i cap plus j cap minus k cap and vector b equal to i cap minus j cap plus k cap. As we know that cos of the angle that is cos theta equal to vector a dot b divided by mod of vector a into mod of vector b. It is given that vector a is equal to i cap plus j cap minus k cap and vector b is equal to i cap minus j cap plus k cap. 
दिस कैन ऑल्सो बी रिटर्न एज वेक्टर ये इज इक्वल टू वन कोमा वन एंड माइनस वन वेक्टर बी इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस वन एंड वन नाउ फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए डॉट बी दट इज डॉट प्रोडक्ट बिटवीन वेक्टर ए एंड वेक्टर बी दट इज वन इंटू वन वन प्लस वन इंटू माइनस वन माइनस वन प्लस माइनस वन इंटू वन माइनस वन सो इफ इज सिंप्लीफाई विल गेट ए डॉट बी इक्वल टू माइनस वन नाउ कंसिडर मॉड ऑफ वेक्टर ए इक्वल टू रूट ऑफ it is the sum of the squares of the coefficients of i j and k that is 1 square is 1 again 1 square is 1 again minus 1 square is 1 so this is equal to root 3 so mod of vector a equal to root 3 similarly find the value of mod of vector b equal to root of 1 square 1 minus 1 square 1 And one square one, so one plus one plus one, that is again root three. Therefore, cos theta equal to. If we substitute these values in the function, a dot b value of a dot b is minus one divided by mod of vector a. Mod of vector a is root three into mod of vector b. Mod of vector b is again root three. So we'll get minus one by three. So theta is equal to cos inverse of minus one by three. Let us consider the third question. Vector y equal to phi i cap minus j cap minus three k cap, and vector b equal to i cap plus three j cap minus phi k cap. We have to prove that vector y plus vector b And vector a minus vector b are perpendicular to each other. That means we have to prove that vector a plus vector b dot product with vector a minus vector b equal to zero. This is because when vector a dot vector b equal to zero, theta must be equal to ninety. So first let us calculate vector a plus vector b that is phi i cap minus j cap minus 3k cap plus vector b vector b is i cap plus 3j cap minus 5k cap if i add these two vectors We'll get five plus one, that is six i cap minus one j plus three j two j cap minus three k minus five k, that is minus eight k cap. This is six i cap plus two j cap minus eight k cap. Similarly, get the value of vector a minus vector b, that is. subtracting these two values so we'll get phi i cap minus i cap that is 4 i cap minus j cap minus 3 j cap that is minus 4 j cap minus 3 k cap plus 5 k cap that is plus 2 k cap now let us consider the dot product between vector a plus vector b and vector a minus vector b means dot product between these two values that is 6 2 minus 8 dot product with 4 minus 4 2 if we simplify 6 4 is 24 2 into minus 4 minus 8 Minus eight into two minus sixteen. So this is equal to zero. So this implies vector a plus vector b is perpendicular to vector a 
minus vector b 